Kaura. Today we're going to make some backyard bird cafe. Like this one. Oh, that looks flash. I'll eat there. Sorry, you need wings to enter. That's sweet. I've probably got some somewhere here in my wild eye super bag. Ta-da! Sorry, bats aren't birds. That's not my fault. You will need a shallow plastic bowl, some dowel or sticks, string, scissors, cable ties, and sugar. Told you I'd have it all. Got water? Water? Hmm. It's okay, I've got some. I'm so embarrassed. Don't worry about it. I've got nuts. Save them for yourself. Native birds aren't nuts about nuts. That's nuts. Same with bread. They don't love it, and it's not very good for them. I wish I could be that fluffy. Don't worry, we'll feed them something they love. First up, we need to find a spot to put our bird cafe. Somewhere where they can keep an eye out for cats. I'm going to make one that attaches to a branch. And I'm going to make one that hangs from a branch. Now we build a vase for our bowl. We basically want to make a wooden square the same size as our bowl. Yeah. You can use cable ties or string to connect the edges. Birds love bling, so make sure your bowl looks banging. Mine has a smiley face on it. I just went classic. If your bowl's going to be that flash, you can stop birds from nicking it by punching some holes into the edge and looping through some cable ties or string. Or give an adult to supervise and get drilling. Now tie some string around it for wherever you want to hang it. Or whack it into the branch. So, what's for lunch? Wet sugar. Mmm. Lucky birds don't have teeth, eh? Wait, do birds have teeth? Nope, but don't worry. It's not too sweet. It's only a one to eight sugar to water ratio. A what to who? For every one tablespoon of sugar, there's eight tablespoons of water. Give it a good stir and make sure all of the sugar is well dissolved. What do you think? They look awesome. Let's show the science guy in the ice cream container. Great job, guys. Did you know that many of our native birds can be found nowhere else in the world? The science word for that is endemic. It means they're pretty special. Native birds living in the cities have less trees around and compete with introduced animals like possums and rats for food. So your wild bird cafe is a great way of helping our native birds out. Make sure to replace the sugar water every two to three days to keep it clean. Oh, and also, you can try putting some fruit on a nail for our money mates, like apples, pears, and oranges. Great device, science guy. Can you drop some fruit in for me, please? Later. Ah! Oh. So that's how to become a top backyard chef. I'm stoked that we're going to get to meet some of our neighbours. Make sure that you take a photo of your backyard bird cafe and upload it to Wild Eyes. Bonus points if you can name the bird that's coming to feed with you. Bonus, bonus points if you can take a selfie with them. Shouldn't be too hard if you're putting on a feed. Want some lunch? Oh, yes please. See? Catch you on the next mission. To find out more about getting wild, visit wildeyes.co.nz. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.